Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. As you can see there, the US there is getting quite close to potential resistance at 16,598, which is an also would be an all-time high for the US 30. We've also seen the SPX 500 reach a record high yesterday, and most global indices are also on the rise there today on the back of China stimulus and ECB uh, rate hopes. Uh, and also the fact that you've got no farm payrolls out this Friday and people are expecting a good figure heading into spring and the brand new quarter. So that's where the potential resistance is. If we do get uh, that resistance does remain intact, then our next potential support is obviously back down at 16401. We're still a positive territory today. We have been slightly higher, but we've only just started the session. So it'll be interesting to see how that progresses throughout the rest of the day. If you look at the UK 100, it's got a lot further still to go, but um, we actually touched potential resistance at 6666. Um, we are in negative territory for the day today. Um, um, but we also touched that 55 period of SMA as well. So we'll have to see how things progress there. Obviously, if the US markets break higher, i.e. break, you know, the, the US 30 breaks above its all-time high, that should add a lot of extra catalyst to get this going. Um, though the resistance right now is holding, so we'll have to wait and see uh, what happens later on. Japan 25 is a great day on the back of yen weakness, which we'll come back to in a second. The yen is a 10-week low um, versus a whole basket of currencies, but you can see there that yen weakness is helping to drive Japan 25 above potential resistance at 14.977. Though we got pushed back down, because uh, this is quite a regularly traded market, it's 24 hours, has been pushed back down below the potential um, resistance. So as closing point today, it's going to be very, very important. So that's a strategic level to have a look at. Looking at dollar yen, dollar yen is breaking up uh, above 103 spot 77, which is the potential um, resistance we've been looking at. Next potential resistance is at 104 spot 63. But now we've got to be looking at, an, at the, kind of the next potential uh, resistance at 105. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and add that on there um, because that's going to come in handy if the uh, if the yen continues to weaken. So that gives you a bit of an idea about what to expect. So if we have a look now at crude oil, it's come off a little bit the last couple of days. Uh, today is Wednesday, and my fact came off a lot yesterday. Uh, the expectation is that crude oil inventories, the rumour on the street is that um, crude oil inventories are going to be a lot higher than expected and um, that uh, excess supply is putting a lot of pressure on prices so we're actually trading below potential support at 100 spot 60. So it's not so good for crude oil from a technical analysis perspective right now. So gold is actually up today um, but I think a lot of the fundamentals are against it just now. It feels like it's against it. In the middle of two ranges, potential resistance at 12.95, potential support at 12.67 and um, Certainly we are actually seeing a little bit of extra dollar weakness today as well uh, against the uh, GBP and against the Euro. Um, so that doesn't hold good for, for, for gold. If the dollar does strengthen, uh, gold is uh, going to be further pressured. So you can see this uh, this downtrend here is still still very much in play. And um, if we fill it up with your dollar, uh, your dollar is, uh, is getting closer and closer to potential resistance, but it's also getting closer to that 21 period SMA. It's moving upwards, but each day it keeps getting pushed back down. So these candles here are giving a very interesting psychological view. We might see some rounding the closer we get to that 21 period SMA, but uh, we need to see how, uh, how what happens later on today. So finishing up with uh, GBP USD, a negative day yesterday, but now it seems to be bouncing around the 21 period SMA acting as support. Next potential resistance is at 67.44. And if we finish up now with having a look at the economic data, uh, we have private payroll numbers today, uh, which historically is very different from how non-farm payrolls actually come out, but nevertheless, people will be looking at this today as an important number. Uh, and then we obviously have those crude oil inventory numbers, which uh, anybody who's trading crude oil will be very interested to see uh, if, the, uh, if the stocks, the supply, are in fact a lot higher than expected. So these are, uh, these are the expectations right here. Um, should be lots of volatility after those figures come out, especially if it's much different from what was expected. If we fast forward on to tomorrow, lots of data on Thursday. You've got Euro, Euro PMI, UK PMI. Uh, you've obviously got the ECB rate announcement. I think uh, 18 out of 22 uh, analysts polled by Reuters believe that the rate is going to remain at 0 0.25. Uh, but that doesn't mean there's a, only only a few dissenters who seem to think that we might cut rates. but. Uh, that's a bit of a long shot, but you never know. And uh, jobless claims in the US is at 130 and trade deficit as well. Lots and lots of data. 
and then at three o'clock you've actually even got non-manufacturing business index so lots of fundamental data due tomorrow uh, and uh, join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.